The keyboard you use is fine. Really, it's got keys for all the letters, a space bar, some numbers, and that all-important delete key. But did you know you can soup your keyboard up? Maybe it's time to think about getting a fancy mechanical keyboard. They're growing in popularity and with good reason. Plain keyboards are just so boring when you could be typing with this, or this, or maybe even this. Between small companies catering to the enthusiast or kits created by the enthusiasts themselves, these days it's easy to make or buy your own keyboard with features customized to suit your own needs. Do you need a full 104 keys or can you get by with 87 or 68 or 47? Standard staggered layout or something ortholinear? One piece or something split? Or maybe something completely different like the Ergodox? Different mechanical switches affect the feel and sound of our keystrokes, from the crispness of clicky switches to the tangible bump of tactile switches to the smooth action of linear switches. And if you'd like to go really old school, you can still buy keyboards with IBM's buckling spring technology, the incredibly loud clicking from back in the 1980s. Different keycap materials and thicknesses change the feel of every keystroke, while colorful key sets and elaborate artisan keys help users make their keyboard something truly their own. Here's a keyboard we made with Final Fantasy characters instead of letters. Mechanical keyboard communities like GeekHack and the Mechanical Keyboard subreddit have known about the importance of a good keyboard for ages. In fact, many of today's more exotic keyboard layouts are a direct result of those communities coming together to design and implement exciting new ways to type. Now a growing number of computer users are getting into the mechanical keyboard scene, realizing what has inspired the enthusiast community for years. Keyboards are more than just throwaway input devices. They're what we use to drive our increasingly digital lives. Might as well drive in style.